So the Las Vegas Raiders have made it official and they've hired Luke Getze as their offensive coordinator. And some people are very, very disappointed with this hire. And if you guys had asked me last night what I thought about it, I would have been very, very disappointed as well. And I actually was. And I'm not saying I've come around to the hire, but we're going to find out a lot about Luke Getze and Justin Fields over the next two seasons. You know, some Bears fans have reached out to me and told me that Luke Getze is absolutely terrible. He is the worst coach they've ever had. And then other people have said, hey, he's not that bad. Justin Fields was the issue. So, you know, if there's any glimpse of hope, it, it is that Luke Getze has had a lot of people reaching out to him for interviews, right? Even though he got fired with the Bears after two seasons, people have reached out to him about interviewing possibly for the uh, offensive coordinator roles that that, that that team had. Now, he didn't get the job with those teams. In fact, he wasn't even the first candidate for the Raiders. Remember, the Raiders hired Cliff Kingsbury. Let's, let's not, let's not overlook this fact. The Raiders chose Cliff Kingsbury over Luke Getze. They ultimately had to settle with Getze because Cliff Kingsbury ended up leaving. Uh, something happened where he probably didn't agree with the plan and he ended up leaving the Raiders and the Raiders ended up going with option number two. That is Luke Getze. Now, I think the Raiders, and this is my personal opinion, I think the Raiders had a hard time selling offensive coordinators. Remember, the Raiders reached out to Zach Robinson and Shane Waldron. Uh, both guys are probably the two offensive coordinators that most teams wanted, most teams reached out for, most teams wanted those two guys. They were the hot names this uh, this coaching cycle. And none of, the, none of those two guys took even interviews with the Raiders. And the Raiders did request to interview both guys. So something tells me the Raiders' plan at quarterback may not be a plan that selling teams or offensive coordinators – or if it's not the plan, maybe it's the fact that the Raiders are picking 13th and they don't really have a quarterback, right? So something happened where Cliff Kingsbury obviously backed out. Other coaches aren't really interested in the Raiders' job, and we ended up getting Luke Getze. Now, again, as I stated, we're going to find out if Getze was, you know, was he hindered by Justin Fields or was Justin Fields hindered by Luke Getze? We're going to find that out, right? Keep in mind, there's a real chance Justin Fields is a bust, right? I made a Justin Fields video like three or four days ago. Uh, go check that video out, right? In that video, I literally talked about it, that yes, Justin Fields can do so many great things, but he does struggle to play within the structure of the offense. And I do think sometimes if a quarterback can't play within the structure, you know, you run double slants. If there's a window, you expect your quarterback to take that throw. If you can't make that throw as an offensive coordinator, it's going to hinder you a little bit, right? But also keep this in mind, Justin Fields, was a rookie under someone else. And in his second season in the NFL, Luke Getze kind of got him. So Luke Getze could have molded Fields into whatever Fields eventually could become. And in two years with Fields, Luke Getze really wasn't able to get Fields and then turn him into a top tier quarterback. Now, obviously there's a chance Fields just wasn't that good. We'll find out, right? Um, but I also want to state this, you know, Kyle Shanahan also had Jimmy G at one point and took him to the Super Bowl, All right? The best coaches get it done. And Kyle Shanahan's another thing that I kind of want to talk about because so many people are saying Luke Getze comes from the Kyle Shanahan tree, and that could not be further from the truth. You know, it's crazy to me that people don't do their research, and they don't put the tape on and actually just watch the tape. You know, you can go and watch the Justin Fields this past season with the Bears, and you can look at that offense, and you can say, hey, what does this offense come out, and what do they want to do? Right? Are they running the wide zone scheme that Kyle Shanahan runs? And the answer is no. They don't run the wide zone scheme. Right. In fact, Luke Getze run, ran a ton of run pass option. He ran a ton of spread offense, a ton of empty formations. Uh, and that comes directly from where he played quarterbacks and the tree he actually comes from. Right. If you guys don't know this about Luke Getze, he comes from uh, Akron under Joe Moorhead. Right. Joe Moorhead back in uh, 2006 to 2008 was the offense coordinator at Akron. Uh, he also played quarterback for Joe Moorhead. So uh, in 2005 and six, he played quarterback at Akron for Joe Moorhead. Uh, he played quarterback there. He went into the NFL. Uh, he didn't really make it. And then pretty much right away, he became a coach under Moorhead at Akron. Uh, he spent two years under Joe Moorhead. So not only did he play quarterback for two seasons there, he spent two more years there as a coach. Four years in that Joe Moorhead spread offense, run pass option, read options, those type of things. Uh, and that's exactly what Getze runs. So Getze isn't coming from the Kyle Shanahan tree. A lot of people are stating that on social media, and that is that is not fact. That is false, right? Sure, Luke Getze may have picked things up from Matt LaFleur, 
who was under Kyle Shanahan, but he, he he's not directly coming from Kyle Shanahan, right? So don't get that those two things twisted. Getsy's not Kyle Shanahan tree guy, right? Um, and that doesn't mean Getsy's scheme can't work. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I want to just kind of touch on the Joe Moorhead scheme and system that Getsy comes from. Uh, to take it a step further, right? let's just talk about the connections a little bit. So uh, uh, after leaving Akron, he ended up going to Pitt. Uh, Joe Moorhead is from Pitt. That's the co- the that's the school where he ended up kind of starting and spending a ton of years with Pitt. Uh, so Joe Moorhead apparently recommended Luke Getzey to Pitt, and Pitt ended up hiring him as a graduate assistant in 2010. Uh, one year later, he ended up leaving Pitt, and he ended up going to Indiana, and he spent two years at Indiana. The head coach at Indiana in those two years was an assistant that was actually under Joe Moorhead a couple seasons before that. So Luke Getzey basically left Indiana. I'm sorry, he basically left Pitt to go to Indiana where the head coach was a guy from the Joe Moorhead tree. Uh, and then after leaving uh, after leaving Indiana, he went to another school. And then one year later, he ended up going to Green Bay. Uh, Mike McCarthy ended up hiring him in Green Bay. And he spent four years for, with the Packers. Mike McCarthy also came from Pitt. So Mike McCarthy, Joe Moorhead also are kind of connected. And uh, Mike McCarthy ended up, you know, taking Joe Moorhead's word for it. And he ended up to Harry and Getzey. And obviously that's worked out, right? Getzey's been a pretty good quarterback's coach. He's been he's been an okay assistant to, you know, to whoever, right? Because he's gotten plenty of jobs, right, over the course of his career. Uh, but Luke Getzey's tree and connections kind of come from Joe Moorhead and Mike McCarthy. I think those are the two influences that this guy's had. I don't think the Shanahan tree influence is correct. Uh, in fact, after he spent four years with the Packers, with, with Mike McCarthy, you know, Mike McCarthy got fired and Matt LaFleur came in and LaFleur fired Luke Getzey. He didn't keep this guy around. I mean, I guess technically Matt LaFleur didn't fire him, but LaFleur didn't keep Getzey around. Getzey actually ended up going to Mississippi State. Uh, he ended up going to Mississippi State. He became the offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach at Mississippi State. Uh, guess who the head coach at Mississippi State was back in 2018? Joe Moorhead. Joe Moorhead was the head coach at Mississippi State, and Luke Etsy ended up going there. And he spent one year there before coming back to the Packers. And apparently Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers wanted Getsy to kind of come back to implement the run-pass option, uh, the RPOs and those type of things that he had implemented. Apparently those guys wanted him back. Now, I don't know if that's a fact, but I did see an article stating that, so we'll say it's a fact um so with that he came back to the packers and then from uh 2019 through 2021 three seasons he basically spent those three seasons with the packers uh, and then he ended up getting hired as the offense coordinator of the bears justin fields his second season with the bears luke getsy comes in they spend two seasons together getsy ultimately gets fired justin Fields is ultimately gonna get fired as well right let's just be honest the bears are gonna end up taking another quarterback so with that you can kind of see that uh, Getsy spent a lot of time under that Joe Moorhead tree. And Moorhead has, you know, he runs a lot of uh, he runs a lot of RPOs, a lot of read options, a lot of quarterback screens. Uh, you can say that Luke Getsy's scheme is going to be a little bit closer to Cliff Kingsbury than it will be to Kyle Shanahan, right, in my opinion. I think the Raiders have already made the decision that they want to run a spread offense. Uh, they want to try to, you know, keep the pace up, possibly, right, because they also interviewed Chip Kelly, who runs kind of that same scheme. Uh, so you can tell the Raiders definitely want to run a spread style of offense where they're throwing the football. And that actually makes sense, right? Let's just be honest. The Raiders have a massive amount of really good weapons. They got four playmakers at the receiver position, right? Between Devontae Adams, Trey Tucker, Jacoby Myers, and Michael Mayer, right? You got four guys that can absolutely crush it. You want to utilize those talents. So from AP's perspective, I like that. I like the fact that AP knows what he wants from an offensive coach, and he's going to go out and actually get it. Now, some people aren't that happy with the Luke Getze hire, and I'll be honest, I, I'm not that big of a fan of it either, but uh, let's hope Antonio Pierce knows what he's doing, right? Let's let's hope that he knows why he's making this pick ultimately, right? Uh, and my hope is that it, it does work out for the Raiders. Uh, you know, Luke Getze obviously had Justin Fields, and, you know, Kyle Shanahan took Jimmy Garoppolo to the Super Bowl. You can't deny the fact that the best coaches – Get the best out of even the worst quarterbacks. Like Tua Tungvaloa was considered a bust before Mike McDaniel came and, and old, you know, kind of took him in. Now, uh, Justin Fields in his second season only missed one game. And in that one game, Luke Getze scored 10 points. And then in his second season, Justin Fields missed four games. And in those four games, Luke Getze scored an average of 15 points. 
So Gatsy without Justin Fields was actually worse than with Justin Fields. So, you know, I know it's a small sample size and I don't technically backup quarterbacks are different than the starting quarterbacks, but Luke Getze, uh without Justin Fields as the offensive coordinator for those two seasons, didn't necessarily have a, a ton of success. Although they did drop like 30 points on the Raiders when we played and that was technically with the backup quarterback, but that was also the first game the backup quarterback in uh, came in, right? So it was the first time we ever seen Tyson Bajan ever play quarterback. Uh, and that sometimes does happen, right? I think last season, the Raiders had Jared Stidham for the very first time and he dropped a ton of points on, I believe it was the 49ers um, years back. I believe it was Nick Foles. Maybe it was a different quarterback for the Eagles or, or maybe it was the Rams. Years ago, I think he dropped like six touchdowns on us, right? And I think it was like the first time uh, that quarterback started. The 49ers had a quarterback years ago as well. I can't remember the, uh, his name, but he came in, he dominated the Raiders. So it was a backup quarterback, came in and crushed us. Uh, sometimes that happens when a quarterback's first time ever coming into the NFL and really getting like a full-time starting, not even starting, but it's his first game. They end up having success. And I uh, guess he did have that against the Raiders this past season with Tyson Bajant. But do keep in mind that after that first game, the next three games, they, they were really, really bad, right? To the point where in that first game, they scored 30 points. But over the, all four of those games, they only averaged 15 points, right? So uh, it's going to be interesting as the Raiders kind of go forward. But Getsy's our coach. I'm not too happy about it. I'll be the first to tell you guys. I think the Raiders could have done a lot better. You know, if it wasn't Cliff Kingsbury, right? I wanted Kingsbury, but if it wasn't Cliff Kingsbury... Uh, maybe you go out and talk to Eric Benemy and you see if he wants to come in and, and maybe have a job with the Raiders. And if it's not Eric Benemy, maybe you go out and, and you ask the other, uh, you, you go and, and look at the other quarterbacks coaches, right? I'm sure, uh, Kyle Shanahan has another quarterbacks coach that could possibly become a head coach. Uh, and there's just guys across the league that you can look at. I'm sure Sean McVay, although Sean McVay had Zach Robinson, I'm sure there's someone there that's going to replace Zach Robinson that you could have looked at as well. And I know he may be inexperienced and that may not make sense. Um, but Luke Getty just doesn't really fire me up all that much. But we'll see what ends up happening. You know, there's a real chance the Raiders are going to just roll forward with Aiden O'Connell and Luke Getty. And maybe they draft the right tackle and really revamp that offensive line. And then they see what Aiden O'Connell has. We'll see if that's actually going to be the plan. I'm not 100% sure if that makes sense. You know, one the, the one knock I would say with Luke Getty is uh, he's had one chance to install an offense with the Bears. And I felt like he really didn't do that good of a job. In fact, there's a video uh, by Levante David, the linebacker of the Buccaneers, who talked about it after a game saying that, hey, we knew exactly what they were going to do on certain plays. They have a screen play where they come out in this certain formation. They run the screen out of that same formation. They've done it multiple times. They came out in that same formation. We saw it. We called it out, right, on our side, right? Then you kind of had to call it out without letting the offense know. And uh, Shaq Barrett picked it off and ran it back for a touchdown, right? So Levante David talks about this. And it's not even just him. There's videos of the quarterback school who talks a ton of crap about Luke Getzey and says these plays don't kind of make sense, how he's designing them, right? You got guys that are confused, guys that are running into each other. Uh, and I will, I'm going to do a film breakdown. Right after this video is over, I'm going to start to find those clips. Right? I'll go back and I'll find those clips because I've even seen some of these clips. All right. Um, so we'll do a film breakdown. Obviously, in that video, we won't just look at the negatives. We'll look at kind of what to expect out of... Uh, out of Luke Getze, but uh, either way, I want to know what you guys think, man. I know people are disappointed, but uh, let's just see what the Raiders do, right? I mean, there has to be a plan that Antonio Pierce is thinking, Mark Davis, you know, there's something these guys have to be thinking about Getze for them to hire him. I know Bears fans that I've spoken to, and I've talked to a lot of Bears fans, the guys that I've spoken to are not happy with Getze, and they weren't. They're very happy when this guy got fired. So, We'll see what ends up happening, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.